YouTube chat. So guys, let's get into this. But before we get into it, make sure to like, subscribe, and the notification button so you don't miss any uploads. So first off, the live event is in a couple of hours away. So I want to talk about that first before the new chapter. Most of you guys have probably seen the teasers and spoilers before. The event is 40 minutes long. I don't know 100%, but I think I might have an idea. So you guys tell me if you think I'm right or wrong in the comment section down below. You know guys know how um, live events are usually 20 minutes long. Well, I think this one will be that long. But in several teasers that Fortnite has posted, um, it says that we will be reforging the island and then the game files. There's a little mini game we have to do, like a basketball one, a campfire one. So, do you guys remember how in the vault event where we got to unvault one weapon and everyone chose the drum gun? I think that we will be able to reforge the island by choosing new POIs, new weapons, new everything, guys. We will be able to make Fortnite, but not really. We'll have choices that Fortnite set out for us, and I think we'll be able to do that. So, let's talk about the actual event before that happens. Um, I want the event to start off with Chrome spreading across the whole island. Obviously, everyone thought that was going to happen before the season event, but if you look at the map now, it hasn't happened yet, guys. This comes down most of the map, I would say like 40-50%. And then I think that the comb is going to cover the whole entire island, everything from the comb. Maybe a couple things not, but mostly like 90%. And then I want like the comb tornadoes to start forming around the island and us to gather at the reality tree to start shooting at the hills like we saw in the trailer when it's starting to turn the paradise into fracture i see you see that it was fracturing and i want that to happen and then you guys saw how we were at the reality tree but it was like we set up a little fort there kind of like we did in chapter 2 season 8 and we we're shooting at the hills then I want the hill to spawn some comb animals like she does when you try to attack the hill boss and she spawns the comb wolves. Then we keep on shooting at them, defeat them a bit, kind of like we do with the zombies. And then something might happen with the paradigm, but I don't know much about that. And then I think that the tornadoes will start cracking the island and fracturing it, lifting up everything until we see the zero point and it's wide open and bare and then eventually the zero point will start cracking and flashing even more and then if you guys go to loot like now you can listen underwater and you can hear sort of cracking sounds and destabilizing like it was in the last chapter so then eventually it'll be bare and it'll crack and then i think we'll be sent into space well then we'll head to Asteria, the new chapter 4 map name, which Asteria is also another name for Star. So if you guys have been looking at the teasers that Fortnite has provided us with, there's a 4 in each one of the teasers. I know that that means chapter 4. And then there's a bright star. People are thinking that's going to be the new chapter 4 map since Asteria, like I said, means star in a different language. Um, so then... We'll get that, and then we'll be able to, like I said, complete quests uh, to what we want in the new chapter four map, what weapons, what POIs, etc. And then, if you guys don't think that sounds like a fire event, then that's your opinion, but there's something wrong with you, in my opinion. If you don't think that would be cool to happen, I would be so hyped if that happened. Okay, guys, now that we've covered what I want in the live event and what I expect to happen, we are going to start talking about what I want in the new chapter and what would help Fortnite get its player base back. Obviously, for a couple of years, even when Fortnite was in its prime, people were saying, oh, Fortnite's dying, oh, it lost a couple of players. And then, next, and then a couple of months later, oh, Fortnite's not dying, then it goes into a cycle. So I think, I think Fortnite is actually kind of lowering its player base but not dying at to that point yet where no one plays it it's still more popular than most games like apex or valorant or 
probably Overwatch 2, and it's well known but not well played that much anymore because a lot of people used to play it, and then OG players stopped playing because the game didn't feel OG anymore and it didn't feel good to play. So in this new chapter, I think they should bring back the pump and the scar, and I think they should add some new weapons into the mix that keeps the game fresh and fun to play, kind of like the Goo Gun was, not too overpowered, but still really fun to play with and do stuff with. And then I also want some new POIs, especially Tilted Towers, Rocky Wheels, and Loot Lake to stay in the game. Maybe with some new features like the Dollar Burger inside of Tilted and some new shops and stuff to keep it like fresh, not just a copy of the old map with the uh, same thing. So I want that into the game. And then since you guys know, there's obviously going to be snow on Sunday when this thing arrives because it starts on December 5th. And right now it's December 3rd the day before the live event oh no it is the day on the live event it's 12 o'clock right now guys i'm trying to keep up my recording since i haven't recorded much but yeah guys like i said winter fest is coming out soon so i want those presents to be like the ones that we got last year and the year before and last year we got sergeant winter coming around the map in his little truck that was really cool guys but i think they can step it up this year um i think Another POI that would be cool would be a Santa's Fortress type of thing for Winterfest, including Sergeant Winter at the boss, as the boss, and you could get a mythic from him or something, something cool. And then it would be a big fortress with elves that would be like defaults and elf c costumes, and then Santa at the middle, aka Sergeant Winter. That would be really cool and fun, guys, to bring the Christmas spirit. If they added that in on Sunday, I would be so happy. And that would be a lot of fun to make videos on, like trying to invade it, killing all the elves, and leaving Santa alone or something. That could bring a lot of video ideas, and it would be a really fun touch for one of us. Um, so yeah, guys. Something I noticed that was in chapter three, there weren't many bosses, guys. Like, we had the foundation and that stuff, but it was just like not that good compared to chapter two season four chapter two season two a lot of bosses guys and a lot of npcs that was a lot of fun it had the changing booths it had all that stuff uh not the changing booths the npc booths and it was a lot of fun guys i loved playing with my friends then and everyone was playing even during the school year now i don't play with my friends on fortnite that much except for jackson only and sometimes my brother but none of my friends really play anymore because they say that they want mythics. So I want those mythics to be in too because it'll keep the game fresh. I also wanted to see Creative 2.0 in the game in January, mid season, because it has been announced that it's coming out then. And I want to see what people could create. And I can make a ton of videos off of that too. And I would also like to see more mobility items. Like this season, we had Chrome and the hot air balloons. But we're going to need more than that because the high air balloons are going to be gone and so is chrome. So I think we should have a saddler as a mythic item that we can get rideable animals, um, flyable animals. And obviously, guys, something everybody wants, Clombo. Everybody wants that back in the game for seasons. Um, so, yeah, guys, have a good time in the new chapter and during the live event. Make sure to comment down below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.